picking them lions? It's Mrs. Browning. I hope that you are doing lots of reading on your extended break. I wanted to check in with you to give you a chance to talk about your feelings. Remember, my job is to help you to talk about your feelings and now you have your grown-ups at home that can do that with you over the break. So, I want you to get a piece of paper and um, a pencil or something to write with. And if you have one, if you would get a stuffed animal. I have our pick it on pride lion. So I'll give you a minute to go get your things. Okay. Now today we are going to talk about the feeling of being scared. Have you ever felt scared before? I'm sure you have. So I want you to look at your stuffed animal and tell it, or a pet, or or your mom or your dad, or whoever you have with you, tell them what you think the feeling of scared is like. Can you explain what you think feeling scared feels like? Okay, we all have certain things that scare us, and that's okay. And there are lots of things going on in the world today. And sometimes those things make us feel worried to the point that we feel really scared and we call that big word of feeling really scared fear. Fear can really sneak up on you and it makes you feel all weird and your heart might race and you might get that feeling in the back of your throat or your stomach might feel really funny and nervous. So sometimes fear can really overcome you and you can feel like there's nothing you can do. But I am here to tell you what you can do. When you feel scared, the biggest, most important thing to do is tell somebody about your feelings. Right? And I want you to get out that paper and pencil right now. Okay, I want you to draw a line, kind of like a number line that you might draw in math. Draw a line and, and write the number zero down here, which is not worried or scared. And then in the middle, write a five, worried or scared. And then at the very end, write a 10, so worried and scared that it's all I can think about. Okay, and you will see on this worry scale that the color green is everything's really calm and, and I'm okay. And the color yellow is a warning, kind of like a caution, like, uh-oh, I think I'm starting to really get worried. And then it's getting, I'm getting even more scared and worried and it's turning to orange. And now, wow, it's red. I'm so worried. All I can think about is my worry. So I want you to think about where you are on your worry scale and might make a mark on there. And then that way you can talk to your grown-ups about how worried or scared you are. Now, one thing that you might be feeling a little worried and scared right now about is maybe if you have been watching the news or talking with your grown-ups about the coronavirus or COVID-19. So I want to let you know that there's nothing for you to be afraid of because like, you know what it's like to have the flu or a cold and sometimes you get a cough or you have a fever. Well, that's kind of like what, what this virus is, but it's just new and the doctors are still learning about it. And most people who catch the sickness, um, they stay home, they get lots of rest and they get better. And we have wonderful doctors and nurses that are taking care of people and getting them the help that they need. So you don't need to worry. Um, there are so many amazing grown-ups that are working to help keep people healthy. And we, your parents and, and your teachers, already know a lot about how to keep you healthy. And that's part of why we're having an extended break right now. Because we can all stay healthy if we just have a little bit of distance from each other. You might hear people talking about social distancing. Social distancing is what it's... It just means that you're staying far apart from each other and you're not getting all up. I know that you love to hug your friends and um, 
but we just kind of want to give distance right now so that we're not spreading those germs because germs like to travel from person to person. Like, have you ever noticed in your class sometimes when one person gets sick and then a bunch more people get sick at the same time? But if people stay home for a while, it, it will be hard for the coronavirus germs to travel to new people. And that's good news for the doctors and nurses who are helping people who get sick. So what can you do to make sure that you, that you don't get sick? Well, you can be a germ buster. Here are some tips to be a germ buster. Make sure that you are washing your hands. Wash your hands and count to 20 or, or sing a, a short little song um, while, you, while you wash your hands. And then make sure that you cover your cough and um, cough into your elbow and your sneeze into your elbow and that way you don't get those germs on your hands and then touch things. When you do get sick, make sure that you just rest and, and get better. And things that we can always do to have healthy habits is get lots of sleep and, and lots of exercise and eating healthy fruits and vegetables. Okay, so, so if you do those things, if, then you know what? You're going to be helping to stop spread germs, and it's something that we should do all the time. Um, so just practice your healthy habits. Just know that the adults are taking care of everything and that um, you are safe and we want you to just be reading and there's this Pick It Home YouTube channel that you get to go on and do lots of learning activities and get outside and play and, and have some fun. All right, so I will be coming back on the Pick It Home YouTube channel to talk to you uh, some more about some different things um, that you might be feeling or um, some different things to help you with some social and emotional learning. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye, Lions.